looking at you know, what are the simplest tasks that we can start solving uh, with these types of systems. So really trying to find that overlap between what is the technology capable of doing in the near term uh, combined with more the needs of these customers that we're going after. I can tell you that we're opening our RoboFab, our first humanoid robot factory, and that will have capacity for 10,000 robots a year. We're working with a number of these Fortune 100 companies and uh, making sure that we have a very clear understanding of their use cases. Digit is bringing kind of that versatility, but to the physical world. It's like an app store, but for labor. So this thesis that being able to pick a thing up and rotate it in your hand and put it somewhere and do something with it was somehow a primary part of understanding the general intelligence and what it means to be a human was the starting point for our work. My flippant answer is I watched Terminator. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, AI as it is right now, if you if you play with like chatbot, they claim that's AI, you, you really do a deep dive on that and you see how inaccurate it actually is. So if they're going to be giving control of machines to AI that has the same kind of decision-making capabilities as chatbot, then it's going to make a lot of mistakes. It's like literally using like its two eyes to be able to understand the position of where it is and to be able to understand where that part is and be able to align itself properly. There's a lot of like good things that, that come from, uh, from AI, there's a lot of bad things too. Um, we're really trying to do things that no one else in this space is doing um, and the only way to do that is through AI.